I'm off to meet Jules Moore of Zones Landscaping Specialists. For Jules, this was a dream brief, creating an urban sanctuary full of some incredible plants. Her brief was to create a subtropical paradise, shielded off from the coast by a protective wall, with plants layered into the background. Well, what do you reckon? What a beautiful garden. It's, it's amazing. It's so lovely. It's, it's its own microclimate in here. And uh, it's so much quieter than out on the street. I know. We've got things in here that would normally not grow in uh, this close to the coast. It's just one of those pockets that's worked really well with, with the subtropical planting. Because yeah. it's a very small garden. It but is. You don't, you, don't feel like, you feel like you're in something quite substantial. Mm. I mean, it's simple, mm. but... It's, it's effective. A, that's something else I noticed as we you know, go around the garden is that it's actually been kept immaculately mm. as well. It's a small mm. garden, it's manageable. Yes. The plants are what you consider low maintenance. Yes, yeah. But they've still been maintained to a really high standard, which means that you get all this lovely, you know, fresh uh, canopy, mm. you know, nice clean foliage, and that really helps the look of the garden too. Mm. This palm here is, is a beautiful palm that you fi find in the tropics called Euterpe edulis. Yep. And uh, they're nearly extinct now because the, um, the crown shafts are edible. So a lot of the natives are taking the shafts out and eating them and killing the palms. But to have this palm quite close to the coast like this is just unheard of. Normally it takes a, quite a shady area. But here we have a philodendron from, um, called Philodendron am Amazonica. And in the wild, it actually adheres itself to the base of the palm and just creeps, creeps right up into the canopy. Um, but by having it in the garden, it gives it a layered effect, and that's what subtropical gardens look so good about, just lay that layering. Right, So because you've got it growing up a pillar. Yes, yeah. No, it, looks, it looks amazing because we've got, it means we've got all this foliage. I know, and it's behind a nice it, backdrop. That's right, it's a yeah. beautiful backdrop and the garden kind of extends into the, it does. Know, the hard, the hard yeah. landscaping, which is yeah. really good. Well, it, it, what it does is it gives it a 3D effect yep. rather than a flat effect. You've, you've got some different... Um, it's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, what do you think of our little vista through here? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll tell you what's great about this is the, is the pathway. It's practical, you've got mm -hmm. these big pavers, but it's, it's intersected with these little bands of mondo grass. Actually, something else I'm liking about this is are all these big trunks. Mm, mm. You know, these are big trees, yes, but we haven't yes. got branches growing sort of all over our, you know, getting in our way. So you can have these big forms, yes, um, but, um, but, but not have them in the way. You've got this sort of linear style. This is interesting. What's this? Well, this is a design solution to hide the wheelie bins. So it's um, a rather unusual, chunky type of timber, but in a horizontal form. Okay, so that is a really amazing transition from the front, mm. which takes us through to the back. Yeah. Well, if you think this is a treasure trove right here, you should see the back. Let's check it out. So, what do you think? I think it's even more layered than the front garden. Yeah, we've, we've got away with um, putting some very special plants in here. And straight above you uh, is, is a really unusual plant called a Cecropia. I was about to reach out and touch it, <laughs> yeah. but I tell you, it looks pretty... <laughs> it looks it's pre a bit spiny. It is, yeah. it's vicious. There's some really special plants in here, and if you come with me, I might just right, um, tell you what they are. <laughs> Do you know what this one is, Justin? Um, no, I, I've seen these lots of similar plants, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. Well, it's a really special plant. It's a Schaeffler. And it's, um, this particular variety is from Papua New Guinea. And uh, I've tried cuttings but the, um, to produce cuttings, but I'm actually waiting for that flower there to fruit to see if we can get some seeds from it. It's got a very handsome seed pot at the top there. Mm. And I, I can see lots of new foliage coming out. It's, a, it's not a plant I've seen in gardens in New Zealand before. No, it's just going to be spectacular once it fruits. Beautiful garden. Thank you. Thank you.